Okay, fifth graders, hopefully you guys watched the video I did the other day, uh, doing a quick review on fractions and how to look at them. Um, so this is chapter seven, section one, and um, let's look at the, uh, um, the example they give us here. It says, Mr. Fish is welding together two copper pipes to repair a leak. They'll use the pipes that are shown here, and this is um, uh, one that's five twelfths of a foot long, and another one is one-sixth of a foot long. And um, is the new pipe closer to one-half a foot or one foot in, in length? Explain. So um, I, so I'm assuming, and it wasn't perfectly clear to me, but uh, that they're putting the two pipes together, and so that's the length you would measure. So step one here, they're showing us, um, here's one-sixth and here's five-twelfths. Here's a half, and um, uh, what they what they're asking you to do in this in seven one is is you're estimating you're estimating that each fraction is either going to be uh, basically closer to a zero closer to a half or closer to one and so I mean you could look at it like one sixth um, and as I explained in the video just the other day um, one two three four five six okay. Um, if something is one-sixth in length, it's going to be about this long out of a hole. And so that's closest to what? Well, that's closest to zero because here's zero, okay? Here's, here's one, and um, right about here would be, you know, one-half. So you could count one-sixth as zero, and then five-twelfths, that's pretty close to a half. And how do I know that? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I know that's not perfect, but I mean, I've got 12 marks there. And um, again, this would be 0, this would be 1, and a half would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, a half would be right about there, not perfect, but you get the idea. So 5 twelfths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's really close to a half. So you could consider the the five twelfths a half. And so if you add them together, a zero plus one half, what do you get? You get a half. So that's kind of what they're asking you to do in this section here. Um, I'm not worried about the convince me. Um, let's just kind of skip that here. Let's jump to the next page. The guided practice. Let's take a look at that here. And problem, in the problem at the top of page 270, would you get the same estimate if Mr. Fish's pipes measured two sixths of a foot and seven twelfths of a foot, well, um, two sixths that's 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 the same as one third, and that's probably closer to a zero as far as estimating. Seven twelfths. I mean, if you were to look at seven twelfths, that's closest to one half. All right, so you would get the same. So, um, yes, you would. All right, uh, number two, it says, if a fraction um, has a one in the numerator and the number is greater than two in the denominator, will the fraction be closer to zero, one half, or one? Explain. A one in the numerator, okay, that's the top part. And, um, and a number greater than two in the denominator. That's going to be a, so we could do a third. We could put a three there. That's greater than two. Will the fraction be closer to zero, one half, or one? Well, we could, let's try some. How about five, one fifth? How about uh, one tenth? Okay. The larger the denominator, the smaller the number. The smaller, the closer it's going to be to zero. So um, you can put that in your own words. Uh, the larger the denominator, the smaller the 
the fraction. Okay. I mean, so look, for example, um, if I have one third, okay, here's one, here's zero, here's a half. So one third is about a third of the way. So maybe about there. One fourth is about a quarter of the way. That would be about there. One fifth would be, you know, maybe about there. One tenth. Um, would be, you know, probably right about there. You notice they're getting smaller. They're getting closer to zero each time. One one hundredth. I mean, that would be uh, really, really tiny. I mean, because there'd have to be um, little tiny, tiny marks. Uh, more than I could do. There'd have to be a hundred little marks in here. All the way to one. Okay. All right, um, let's see here, three and four, real quick. Uh, let me get out of that line mode there. Get back to that. Okay, um, three and four, use the number line to tell if each fraction is closer to zero, one, zero, one half, or one. So 11 twelfths, okay, 11 twelfths, where would that be? That's 11 of the 12. If I had a, 12 marks, one, two, what's going on here? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 marks. Here's zero, here's one. A half would be right about there. If I had 11 of the 12s, that would be right about there, 11 12s. It's obviously closer to one. Uh, one sixth, yeah, you could do these. Um, and estimate the sum of 11 twelfths and 1 6. You could do that. 14 60. Yeah, you guys could do these. I would hope by now, after my fabulous job of explaining yesterday's video and today's. Uh, let's see here. 5 through 11. Use a number line. In 5, use a number line to tell uh, if each fraction is closer to 0, 1 half, or 1. So 5 A and B, and then you got to estimate. It looks like this one's subtraction, so take note of that. It's not addition. And then 6 through 11, it says estimate the sum or difference by replacing each fraction with 0, 1, or 2. You're estimating here. So number 6, for example, 9 tenths. Okay, here's 0, here's 1, 9 tenths, that's 9 of 10. That's going to be really close to 1. 9 tenths would be right about there. So you could look at it as 9, nine tenths is 1 plus 5 sixths. So here's another number line, or another line rather, I'll just 0, here's, here's 1, and so here's a half. And 5 sixths, so there's going to be 5 marks, 1, two, three, four, five. Okay. And here's zero, here's one. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't answer that. Uh, five, six is really close to one. So that's essentially gonna be one plus one. And so an estimate would be two. Okay. All right, next page. Take a look here. Name two fractions that are closer to one than one half. Then name two fractions that are closer to one half uh, than to zero or one, and two fractions that are closer to zero than to one half. Um, find two of your fractions that have a sum of about one and one half. You could you could do that. So, for example, I'll do the first part here. Name two fractions that are closer to one than one half. Well, nine tenths is closer to one than one half. And how about something like 14 fifteenths? That's certainly closer to one than one half. Uh, 13, how would you estimate whether 27 over 50 is closer to one half or one without using a number line? 
Well, remember, one, anything that's going to be closer to one half is roughly or approximately halfway. Halfway to the hole. Here's, here's a line. Here's the hole. One is the hole. There's zero. So 25 out of 50. What's 25 out of 50? What's that equal to? It's equal to one half. How do I know that? Because two of the numerators will equal the denominator. Look at this. One half. Two of the ones equal two. How about five tenths? Look at this. Five tenths is equal to one half. Two of the numerators, that's what's on top. Five plus five is equal to ten. So um, any anything that um, you know fifty over one hundred, that's one half. So twenty seven over fifty is is approximately, that's what that symbol means, approximately halfway. Um, let's see here, Katie made a bag of trail mix with a half a cup of raisins, three-fifths of a cup of banana chips, uh, about how much trail mix, yeah, you could do that. 15, annual mug race, um, let's see here, 310, about how long, yeah, okay, you guys can do these. All right, that's it. I'm going to end the video, and I will see you guys later.